Good. I promise you one more example question where we compare quantities as a percentage uh, to each other. And let's have a look at this question. I said, well, out of 30 games in total, your team wins six games and loses 14 games. Yeah? Calculate the percentage of games ending in a draw. Okay. Well, of course, you show as much work as you can. Eh? So you can either um, win and you have won six. You can lose. Yeah, and you lost 14 out of 30 games in total. So how many draws did I have? Well, that's 30, take away six, take away 14. And that is then going to be 10. Yeah, so 10 draws, yeah. The question is not how many times did you draw? No, the question is uh, what is the percentage of games ending in a draw, yeah. And as I've showed you in my previous videos, you do that amount over, in this case, 30, yeah, the amount of games in total, and they do not ask me to give it as a fraction, they don't give, uh, ask me to give it as a decimal, they want me to give it as a percentage, so I multiply that, as I showed you in my previous videos, by 100%, alright, and then your answer will be 33 and a third percent, yeah? so one out of three games you are going to draw, okay, so perhaps you should change sports here, because you only win six, and lose, you lose 14 and uh, 10 draws, perhaps try something else. Anyway, 33 and a third percent of the games end in a draw. Next video about reverse percentages and I also have videos about percentage increase and decrease. I'll see you there.